What's up y'all and welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hey girl, hey, please don't hesitate. Get down there and click that subscribe button right now to join the family to become a lounger. So today you guys, as you can tell by today's title, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I'm putting in me and baby boy's hospital bag okay this video is a video that i have had so many requests for and now that i'm in my home stretch 34 weeks i feel like it is time for me to start packing getting those last little minute things done so that these next few weeks can just be a breeze and i can just relax and mentally prepare for my sweet baby so with that being said, if you are new to my channel, this is going to be baby number five for me. This is our last baby. Um, we're not going to have any more. And we are okay with that. Five is going to be completely enough for us. But I'm super excited about this video only because this is not my first rodeo, you guys. I have four other little ones and we I've delivered at the same hospital for all of my pregnancies. So I know exactly what I'm going to need to take and what I'm going to use while I'm at the hospital. So I'm super excited to share it with you guys. Also, I do want to say, if you are a first time mom, congratulations, mama. Um, I hope that you have a safe labor and delivery. And if you are a second or third time mom, congratulations to you as well. And I wish you the best with your labor and delivery as well. But for those first time mamas, I'm going to help you pack the perfect diaper bag, perfect hospital bag for your hospital stay for your labor and delivery. So I am a very minimal mama. I'm not bringing anything extra. I'm not overpacking because I don't want to be at the hospital long. I am literally going to bring everything that I need. And as I said before, I know exactly what they're going to provide for both me and my sweet baby. So with that being said, I only am bringing the things that I know I'm going to use while there. So it is also a great idea to just like check with your doctor to see, okay, what does the hospital provide for me to kind of help you get a little bit of an idea of what you should pack in your hospital bag. So I'm not going to be showing you guys the actual hospital bag. Why? Because it is up in my closet within a suitcase that I cannot reach right now. <laughs> And basically, it's just a basic duffel bag, nothing fancy, nothing cute, honey. Um, it's just a bag. I also get a larger duffel bag. I have two different sizes. I take the larger one only because I know that my hospital provides a whole bunch of stuff. So I want to make sure I have room for that stuff that I'm going to be bringing home from the hospital for both baby and I. So we're going to start off with everything that I am packing in my hospital bag. And I figure I would give you an idea of the hygiene stuff first. I mean, it's kind of like a no brainer, but because I'm sharing what I'm putting in my diaper bag, that's the main stuff I'm going to share for you, with you guys first. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing as far as like hygiene, you got to make sure every mama once they have a baby, the two things that we look forward to after giving birth is that first meal and that first shower. Just getting all of that icky, yucky birth off and just being able to just scrub your skin, okay? So I decided to do a Dove bar soap. And not only did I do Dove bar soap, I got a little loafer so that I could scrub and really get all the dirt nasty off. And I just love the way that this Dove white bar smells. It's just so fresh and just, I love Dove. And I use that on a regular basis, so it's like nothing new for me. And not only did I, am I going to be bringing the bar soap, I'm going to be bringing the deep moisture body wash as well. This is, of course, the travel size. You're not going to need no huge lotions and body washes for your hospital stay like this. You're not staying for a month. Literally 48 hours at the most if you're giving a vaginal birth and I'm manifesting a vaginal safe delivery for myself and baby boy. So I don't plan on staying more than 48 hours at the hospital, okay? So I got this bath wash for Dove as well, just to make sure my skin is nice and clean. And then not only that, I got a little small Dove deodorant because I'm not trying to be musty in the hospital. You, could, you tend to get postpartum sweats after 
you give birth well i do so deodorant is a must um the next thing i put in here is my healing this is gold bond healing um moisturizing cream this is a smaller one so not only did i get that but sorry um i also got the jergens a little bit bigger size lotion as well and this is 48 hour moisture but i wanted to make sure my skin is nice and moisturized while i am there and i wanted to make sure i had enough to put on my skin so that's why i ended up getting two of those because this one is just like so small like this is like the size of my lip gloss so <laughs> i wanted to definitely put a little bit of extra in there um also i'm not trying to be in the hospital with no funky breath okay all the doctors and nurses that are going to be coming in so i got this charcoal toothbrush charcoal is really good for whitening your teeth by the way and then i got some mouthwash and then just some colgate charcoal toothpaste i did get this in full size but i only paid it for paid a dollar for it so definitely definitely check the um check out dollar trees and target's little travel size area because they got you covered on all ends okay the next thing i say is absolutely mandatory for your hospital stay hospitals tend to be super cold and dry so you are going to want to have something to moisturize your lips so i just got this vaseline chapstick and i'm also going to be bringing my lip gloss as well just to keep my lips moisturized because in the past i have forgotten my lip gloss and my lips just like literally cracked and they just looked really gross and nasty so with that being said make sure you pack something to moisturize your skin and your lips if you don't pack anything else okay then y'all know i'm a lash type of girl so the only thing that i'm going to like be bringing like as far as like for my face i'm not putting no makeup in my hospital bag literally lashes and lip gloss and that's just if i want to take pictures y'all know how i feel about my lashes so i'm just trying to be cute you know just for the moment so i got these lashes that i'm going to be throwing in there um and then the lash glue of course and also i got some clorox disinfecting wipes we are in a very germy season of our life okay we all know that so i wanted to pack some clorox clorox wipes so that i could just like wipe something down if i need to i plan on wiping his bassinet down if they put him in like i'm gonna be in there cleaning stuff okay because we cannot bring any germs home with us and then the last thing that i really really need um it's just a water bottle i i was gonna bring my gallon water bottle but i just figured this little glass one i only paid a dollar from this for this one this is 11.8 ounces just to have like some water in usually i would not bring one of these only because the hospital does provide like the little water bottles and stuff like that but like i said we are in a very germy season of our lives so i want to just bring my own water bottle to drink out of so there's that so that is everything that i'm bringing as far as like the hygiene stuff to just make sure i am nice and clean now the only thing postpartum that i'm going to be bringing um that the hospital does provide but i'm simply just bringing it because i'm not comfortable with the hospitals are these mom diapers okay the mesh my hospital provides the mesh panties but they are just too thin and loose and just not enough support down there for my flower muffin after pushing a whole human out okay so i like to bring my own um i've used the discreet always discreet like underwears in the past but i tried something new um that was a little cheaper this time and these are by the brand composure and they are just these really stretchy um underwear diapers whatever you want to call them with a pad inside but of course the hospital provides you with like ice packs and pads that you can insert in here but this is very important for me because the hospital ones just ain't enough support down there for your girl after having a baby so i'm definitely going to be bringing some of these for myself everything else as far as postpartum my hospital will be giving me and i'm okay with that i will accept that gladly and i'm going to use it so moving on to what i'm packing as far as like for me let's start off with some fuzzy socks you guys the hospital is always cold and just 
cold and dry, like I said. So socks are a must. So I got two pair of like these cute little fuzzy socks. This one has a little sloth on it. And then I got these with the little unicorn. Just to make sure my feet stay warm. I do not like it when my feet are like freezing cold. So I definitely wanted to pack those. Then I also, because I'm going to be breastfeeding. Um, also, I forgot to mention, there are a few items that you guys are that I'm not going to be showing you guys because um, simply my sister's giving me the nipple cream. So I'm going to be bringing nipple cream and nipple pad, breast pads um for my breastfeeding i don't expect my milk to come in right away while i'm in the hospital so the breast pads aren't really that necessary but the nipple cream my sister had extra from her baby so she's going to be giving me some of that so i'm definitely going to be getting that and packing that in my bag as well so if you're like a if you plan on breastfeeding definitely pack yourself some nipple balm nipple butter something for your nipples because the beginning stages of breastfeeding can be a little painful for your nipples so there's that next thing is this nursing bra this nursing bra came from target i actually got on another one because they are so comfortable um <laughs> they do not have wires but i got a three pack from target and let me try to show y'all these are super soft and basically it's a nursing bra if you don't know what a nursing bra is it's just like a, it looks like a regular bra, but it clips right here so it can pull down easy so that you could like feed your baby. So basically, this is for my new mamas, okay? If you know the rodeo, then you know, but put the bra on, baby's ready to feed, you pull it down and easy access to those tatas for your sweet baby. So I'm going to be packing two of these. I know I'm probably not going to use nothing but one, but just two just in case. Because if my milk do come in, it could leak. And yeah, so nursing bra is a must if you're going to be breastfeeding your baby. Walmart also have nice nursing bras for a inexpensive price. If you're not trying to spend like a ton of money on a bra because that's me, sis. I wasn't trying to spend a ton of money on no nursing bra. But I got a deal for the three at Target. The next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is what I'm going to wear. So I don't mind wearing the hospital gown. I mean, I don't want to bring a gown and then it just be all nasty and bloody and just yucky from giving birth. So I did, my mom gave me this, or bought this for me for Christmas and it is super soft. It's Ray Dunn actually. And it's just this super stretchy, soft, gown that I could put on after I take my first shower and be like super comfy and not only that this v-neck right here I feel like it'll be just easy to just like pull the boob out for baby to eat so I got this gown right here and then like I said before this is just in case I packed two like gowns for my stay so I got this gown right here as well and this is just like a button up gown. Once again, easy for breastfeeding because of the buttons right here. And it is so cute. It says girls night in on the back. And I thought it was so cute. I got it from a store called Gabe's for $7. So I'm packing this as well. Like I said, super stretchy, super comfortable, not nothing that's gonna be too tight and uncomfortable for me. So there's that. And then the last thing that I packed as far as clothes wise is what I'm going to be wearing home I don't care as far as like trying to be cute when I'm going home y'all like that's just not me I just want to be comfortable after giving birth so I'm only going to be packing a big t-shirt like an oversized t-shirt this has my girl Selena on it honey isn't it so cute so a big oversized t-shirt and not only that but some joggers like some jogging pants. So I'm gonna be packing these to just something comfortable to throw on and go home in. Also, I'm gonna be bringing my Crocs because y'all know I love my Crocs. And not only that, Crocs can be worn in the shower. They're easy to wipe off. You can wear them around the room. So I'm gonna be use a lot, utilizing my Crocs as my slippers at the hospital, my shower shoes. And um, I was thinking, Probably not my going home shoes only because 
after walking around in that hospital i'm not trying to bring home any extra germs so i was thinking about putting them in like a gallon ziploc bag and then wearing something else home but i don't know i'll figure it out <laughs> once it gets closer to time um but yeah then the last thing that i'm packing clothes wise is this robe because like i said the hospital is super cold y'all and my mom got me this robe and it says love on the back it's super thick it's cozy it's warm and i feel like it's going to be perfect for my hospital stay so that is everything so basically two pajamas something to go home in a robe to stay nice and warm and then all my hygiene stuff nursing bra etc so those are the things i know for a fact that you are going to need at the hospital um as far as what you're packing for yourself now moving on to oh one more thing i'm also going to be packing a charger because i am going to be filming and trying to get all the footage and of course because of covid times all family members are probably going to be calling and checking on baby so i got to make sure my phone stays charged as well so i wanted to have a nice long cord so they can reach my bed and i ain't have to like no short cord i honestly know for a fact the short cord is not gonna work so a 10 foot charger definitely for your phone now we can move on to baby boy i'm gonna start with the biggest item that i'm gonna be packing for him and it is his boppy pillow I always bring my kids bobby pillows to the hospital only because it just helps with the nursing process. This bobby pillow in particular is not like the one that I bought for my other babies. Um, this is like the full, I'll show you guys, the full pillow. I am going to be bringing it in its case though. So this is just like the full bobby pillow like this. Um, it has little elephants on it. Super cute. Um, so I'll be packing this for him. And not only that, but I was thinking because I don't really know. Like the weather here in North Carolina has just been up and down, y'all. Like legit. Like I don't, one day is 70 degrees outside. The next day it's 30. So it's like, I don't really know. So I also am going to be packing like a snowsuit. Not only a snowsuit, but like a little fuzzy zip up suit for him as well that i'm not gonna be showing you guys because it's all the way over there but um yeah so just in case it's like super cold outside and he could be nice and snug as bug in a rug um his stuff so moving on to his little diaper bag this is kamari's diaper bag this is off of amazon this is a diaper bag off of amazon um and it has these super cute little giraffes and just jungle theme i thought it was so cute it has a pocket right here on the side it's really expandable and then it has another pocket for like wipes but you could put diapers in there but it's really like a white pocket and then not only that it has a charger port for your phone so basically you could charge the diaper bag and then plug your phone cord up right here this is that's this is the main reason why i bought this one <laughs> so and plug your phone cord right here and charge your phone like if you're out and stuff so there's that they have these two little loops on the side if you want to hook it to like a stroller or something like that and then nice little straps a big front pocket in the front open it up i do have three bottles in there but that's just for when I do need those. Um, so that's a nice little front pocket. It's very spacious. This diaper bag was no more than $35, y'all. Then the inside is nice. It opens up nice and wide so that you can see right down in there. And as you guys can see, I did not overpack this diaper bag. Why? Because the hospital provides wipes and diapers for baby um so i would not be bringing that I, I might honestly just throw some diapers in here just in case on the ride home but like i said they provide them and they send you home with extra so i honestly don't need any diapers so let me show you guys what i'm going to be taking for my sweet baby so the first thing this little hat how cute is this my mom got this for him and i'm like he has to take pictures in this. It is so cute. It also came with like some cute little matching socks as well. But I thought this hat was so cute and tiny that I wanted to throw it in there. 
and not only the hat but these little slippers these little bear slippers oh my gosh they're so cute and so tiny he might not wear them but i thought they was cute and i wanted to pack them y'all so i packed them as far as clothes um i packed two white onesies because i do want my baby to be like extremely comfortable i'm not gonna make him put on a full outfit until we go home um that's how i'm always there with my babies so once he gets his bath he could put this on some socks and a hat and then i could just like swaddle him so i got two of these just in case he messes one up so two white onesies i did give myself options as far as outfits though um for him to wear if i wanted him, whatever like i do decide to take him on in so he has this little let's see these little pants how freaking cute and they have like these little um what are these like hippos on them so cute in this little mint color with the little speckles on there and then this little onesie that goes with it and he also has a hat to go with this as well so i packed that just in case and that is in the size newborn then i packed sleepers like little baby sleepers this is also in the size newborn and all this stuff is it smells like dreft baby just oh it smells so good i cannot wait for him to get here but look at how cute this is i got my hat to go with this as well um just in case you know like pictures and stuff just want to make sure he looks all cute so i want to give him options and then of course i had to pack him a little brother onesie and this is zero to three just in case so he has this little brother onesie and it's so soft like it's like a fleecy soft blanket material and then this is also zero to three month and it's just like this little bear says new to the crew thought that was super cute if he can if he can't fit his newborn stuff he can go home in this and has these little fuzzy little pants to go with so cute makes me excited okay y'all so my camera just died on me okay so the last thing that i'm going to be packing for him is just this little gray thermal like onesie just in case like i said those two are just those two white ones are short sleeves so just wanted to pack one of these as well so that's everything as far as like the clothes that i'm going to be packing for him i also have a receiving blanket like I said, my hospital does provide receiving blankets, but I brought this for just like pictures. Like I said before, I could just like lay this out in his bassinet and take pictures of him. And then I also got this print as well. So I'll be bringing these two um, receiving blankets for him. And then a thick blanket. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It has these little cactuses all over it. And then this little Sherpa material on the inside. Um, I can kind of throw this on him or over his car seat um, as we're leaving the hospital. But I thought a warm blanket would be perfect in a cold hospital. Um, also, I'm going to be bringing him some hats. They're still in the plastic simply because I just didn't take them out. But they're like these little bare ear hats. And I have a white one a striped gray one and then like a blue one as well so perfect he can throw one of them on one of his white onesies and then just be nice and comfortable and cute at the same time so there's that and then like i said he has several sock options um for our just in case you just never know so i just got different socks these are the ones that go with that little hat i showed you guys so i packed several socks plus some of this stuff is going to stay in here um, after the hospital just to have in here. Um, the next thing are these um, nipple shields. Because as I said before, breastfeeding in the beginning can be extremely painful. You guys hear my kids. Um, breastfeeding in the beginning can be extremely painful. So these little like silicone nipple shields kind of help with your baby's latch in the beginning. Some people don't recommend these, but I feel like they'll work good for like when you're first starting to like breastfeed and it's not like so painful because basically your baby will be sucking on this, but it'll be over your nipple. So it's not like super painful. So I got this and it comes in like a little two pack 
and it's the Medela brand and it came with this little case which is perfect as well so there's that be packing this so easy to just put back in this little case okay what's going on okay so super simple and easy put that over there don't nobody want to hear all that rattling um and then of course i'm going to be bringing him some passies so we, we got these little passies for him and these are the ma'am brand ones all my kids took the same exact passy with like that little flat let me show y'all like the little flat nipple like that so this will be here they're so tiny and then i also have a pacifier clip that i want to connect to this as well just so he can have it um so we don't lose it and also i am bringing this which you guys know has like all his little safety stuff in there i will not be cutting his nails and stuff in the hospital but it does have like his little brush that he can like a little brush his little hair and then his comb after his bath and my hospital gives me all of this stuff right here y'all so i really don't need to bring it but like i said some of this stuff is just to go in his diaper bag to stay for like future purposes so there's that so basically that is everything that i'm going to be packing for me and my sweet baby boy i really hope that i gave you guys some ideas for your hospital bags for both you and your baby and as i stated before if you are expecting a sweet baby boy or girl this year congratulations i hope that you have a very healthy and safe labor and delivery and let me know down in the comments if you feel like i left anything out also as i said before i will be packing a throw blanket because that is important to me and not only that but snacks and gum so after you give birth it takes a little minute for you could like unless your spouse goes and gets you food um and that first meal Quan always gets me whatever i want to um as far as like whatever i want to eat so in the past though it takes a little minute for your food from the hospital to get there okay hospital don't have the best food but i've seen that my hospital's food and menu has progressed over the years and has gotten better so i don't mind eating the hospital food but it takes a while for it to get there because there's so many other mamas on the unit the postpartum unit so it's just good to have like little snacks um and like drinks and stuff so i will be packing body armor drinks and water just like a small pack and then probably like a six pack of each and then a few snacks for me to kind of snack on in between those times when i'm hungry plus i'm going to be best breastfeeding so i got to make sure i am putting all the nutrients and stuff back into my body that he's going to be taking out and yeah you guys so like i said before i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a huge thumbs up it just helps me out so much in these youtube streets and if you are new Get down there, click that subscribe button right now to join the family to become a lounger. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you all for all the love and the support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.